Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> So, I have some sad, sad news. My cactus didn't make it. <laughs> yes, I'm updating you guys on my mealybug experiment with the alcohol and cleaning the roots and really getting in there and getting all those mealybugs off and I lost my plant. It has been about two to three weeks and I noticed it start to look more shriveled up over the past couple of days. We went out of town, we were in Arizona for a little while, and I came back and I was like, okay, now it's starting to change color. So I'm a little sad, but I'm here to update you guys to show you that maybe alcohol and dousing its roots in the alcohol, pure alcohol, was not that great of an idea. And an alternative that we may be able to use if this ever happens again, which I just learned from Harley G. So let's get on into this cactus and uh, take it apart and see what's going on. All right, guys, there she is. She looks so sad, still holding her shape, but look at how shriveled and not happy she looks Ugh. okay so i'm just gonna kind of deconstruct this right here for us to see what's going on in there okay here we go let's take these rocks off the top here just gonna put those down there and kind of wiggle it on out here all right so as you can see it's quite shriveled up now i don't see any mealybugs at all anywhere on this thing. However, the roots are extremely dry. Can you guys see that? The, so my guess, and I did water this uh, twice after doing this, and as we all know, cacti don't need a ton of water, but this is a very small, tiny pot, so it does dry out faster than most pots. So it does need a little bit more water than, you know, most cactus would need, but not much at all. Um, I have a feeling that the alcohol just completely fried this root system. And some of you guys said it wouldn't matter. Some of you said, ah, why'd you do that? So apparently this is a lesson learned and I don't know everything. So it was an experiment. And honestly, my alternative was to just throw this out anyway because it was so infected with mealybugs that I was like, let me just try it. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And it didn't work <laughs> and I'm sad now, no. Let's talk a little bit about an alternative that um, might have been a better route to take that I didn't know about until just recently. So something I just learned today from Harley G, I'm gonna link this video that I just watched today in the description below. She mentioned something about hydrogen peroxide and I never thought about hydrogen peroxide in like helping to kill fungi or bacteria on plants, but it makes sense. And I actually just tried it. I have a burl marks and I feel like I may have overwatered it. So some of the leaves are starting to get a little yellow. Um, and I was like, shoot, what am I going to do? Because there's no new growth on it yet. I feel like it's like going through a phase where it, there's just no new growth. And I don't want to lose these two leaves. I might lose them. But she actually did this hydrogen peroxide watering experiment on it or treatment, I should say, on hers. And I gave it a shot today to see if it'll work. So stay tuned for that. I'll give you guys either an update on Instagram, go follow me over there, or I'll do another video on it. But she mentioned about using this um, solution for mealybugs and like other, um, spider mites and other types of insects and fungus that might be growing on your leaves. So I probably should have used that solution, but I didn't know about it until today. <laughs> so I lost my cactus, but that's okay. It's a lesson learned, guys. And you know what? Not to say that alcohol is not the way to go. I just wouldn't do it as aggressively as I did with dipping your roots in it. Pure alcohol, like 100%. Um for a long period of time, it, it fried my roots. I think if I would have used a Q-tip and just simply wiped off the foliage, 
it may have been a better way to go but the mealybugs were so compacted into the roots as you, if you didn't see my my first video obviously go watch it i'll link it here but they were so in there and I felt like, okay, a Q-tip, I'm not going to be able to get inside this little root system and get every mealybug out of here because they were just feasting off of the roots. Um, so I just doused it in alcohol. And I don't think that the plant was so far gone from the mealybugs. It looked like it was in, still in pretty good shape. So I'm definitely going to go with the alcohol is what did it, um, not the mealybugs. So lesson learned again and next time i'm definitely going to try that hydrogen peroxide uh, method hopefully this doesn't happen to me ever again this is the first outbreak i've ever had um, but with owning as many plants as i have it can happen so better to have the knowledge and know what i can do next time than not and make the same mistake i made this time so i hope any of you guys that watched my last video on how to get rid of mealybugs. I'm kind of hoping you guys didn't do the same thing I did and I, if you did I'm hoping your plant is safe and it's saved. If not, again guys this was a lesson learned for us all and I am a rookie and I'm filming videos as I go and I'm just here to show you what I know, show you some mistakes I may make along the way and learn from them. You know what I'm saying? Not a pro. One good thing out of this whole thing is there's no more mealybugs, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you in my next one.